If you've been playing No, I'm Not Human, you may have fallen in love with all the various cool characters in the game and want to explore their day-to-day -day dialogue freely. But sadly, because of FEMA visits, or the danger of visitors, it's hard to reliably explore all day-to-day -day dialogue options for each guest in any one playthrough. So today we're going to be using two pieces of software, Wand, formerly known as Wiimod, and Cheat Engine, to allow any player to explore No, I'm Not Human reliably. Wiimod will be used to spawn in items like kombucha, allowing us to freely save the game, and items like cat food, so that we can just continue to basically and infinitely play the game without the visitors ever being a danger. And what do I mean by infinitely play the game? Well, we're going to be using cheat engines, specifically a cheat table. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description as to where you can download the cheat table. You'll want to run the cheat engine by just clicking on that cheat table that you download. It's going to pull this up right here. We're going to be using this piece of software to cycle through the days. I think the best way is just to go ahead and show you guys. You're going to want to go ahead and open up. No, I'm not human. You're going to click new game. All right. Now, for various reasons, too much to get into right now, you're not going to want to skip the tutorial. Right now, where we're at, day 31, Rumoralia, is like, game code-wise, day zero. So you're going to want to just, just continue with the, the, the tutorial as normal. You're going to go to bed. And then you'll wake up. Now, we're right now on day one beer day from here this is where things get pretty fun first let's open up our wand and with no i'm not human selected you might have to search it up if this is your first time using it you're going to want to go to the upper right hand corner and click play okay this is a little bit janky okay what i like to do is like play walk around a little bit interact with stuff or whatever right and see and then there's gonna be that little thing in the right hand corner once that's there i think it's, it's initiated it's good what I like to do is spawn in a couple of kombuchas and see, and then there's three of them. Bam, there we go. Spawn in maybe one or two, a smattering of energicas. We'll go in, into our fridge. Actually, we can't go into our fridge yet. We have to talk to this guy. Now we got two energicas, although not entirely necessary. And the most important thing we want to spawn in for ourselves is cat food. You just want to make sure you always have a good, a healthy amount of cat food on you, okay? Now, with all of our items spawned in, this is where the next software, the second piece of software comes in. Again, you want to have Cheat Engine opened with the cheat table that you downloaded. Again, link in the description. Is This is a cheat table for No, I'm Not a Human. With Cheat Engine open with this table, you're going to oh, click this little highlighted button right here to show your process list. And you're going to click on no, I'm not human. Double click on it. Just click yes. And from here, cheats, attach game process. Going to go ahead and open up a link. Just go ahead, close that. Unless you have an account on that website, you can go ahead, rate, rate the thing positively. Click on pointers. And then right here, this little magic thing right here, day. Of course, it's going to have question marks. Let's play the game a little bit. Let the game run a little bit. Whoops. And now it says day one. Now this is the this is the special sauce of this process. Now in order for this to work, we need that cat. Now you can only get the cat on day four. Sorry, night four, I should say. So what we do into the day, day number four, like that. Now right here it still says beer day, but in the game coding, it is in fact day four. And I'm going to go ahead and prove this to you. We'll save the game with our kombucha. Quit to menu without saving. Click continue. It's going to open up the game when after we set it. And look at that, huh? Day four. Now, isn't that cool? Now we're going to now we're now we're on day four. When we fall asleep, we're going to wake up into night four. And then this allows us. And look at that. Look at this here. Okay, and this is the funny part. <laughs> now, you probably talk to FEMA without any guests in your house, and they'll just be like, really? You're alone? Poor you type thing. Well, technically, we have a guest in our house. And <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever seen this before. 
<laughs> he has even an angry sprite. I've never seen that on our neighbor. All right, so we get uh, the stoner. Just kind of allow the game to play out again. <laughs> don't even think, don't overthink this. <laughs> Somehow the dad is not the dad is not dead. I just let, gave the dad away. And then the last guest we get tonight is the cat lady. You want to make sure that you take cat in the cat lady in so you can get the cat. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can go straight into the next morning, or if you want, let's say, to unlock, uh, let's say, teeth, then you're going to switch to, I believe, day one. And so, because it's now night one, it will have switched. In fact, does it change? No, it doesn't change that part, okay. Because now we've switched to night one, when we go to bed, we're gonna wake up into day two. Two. This allows you to unlock, slowly unlock all the various symptoms, okay? So that's day two, cucumber day, all right? But you'll want to make sure that you wake into a day where you unlock a symptom, because if you don't have a symptom unlocked, the game will glitch out here and like freeze up and you'd have to start from the beginning or just start from where you drunk your kombucha. Because we spawned in a bunch of cat food for ourselves, we can feed the cat cat food here and be risk-free. So if the stoner and the cat lady are both visitors, the little girl will not be in danger. So you can freely explore the dialogue option. So let's go ahead. We're going to talk to the stoner. Okay, I want to explore this dialogue with him. Okay, that's what he says. Let's talk to the girl, you know, and this is a very useful thing because sometimes these characters get killed by visitors. You don't want to start from the beginning, you know? So, very, very useful thing we're doing here, okay? Okay, so we've exhausted all of our dialogue options, okay? Well, these are all the guests I want to talk to, okay? I want to talk to these guests first and get my, you know, explore their dialogue. I don't want to fuss with anything. So, what we do, similar to what we did before, but slightly different, we switch the day to day zero, okay? This would technically be Rumoralia, the tutorial night. So, let's go ahead and drink our beer real quick. When you go to bed, fall asleep. Now, technically, we don't even have to go to the door, but I'm going to go ahead and showcase to you real quick. So we're now on, it doesn't show it here, but we're technically on night 31 or it's day zero, night zero. Because we've already done the tutorial, nothing happens. And we can actually pull out. So you don't re repeat events. If the event that took place on that night, you somehow go back to that night and you, you won't get it again. Okay? Fall asleep. Now, we have gone through a day cycle, we've woken up, and guess what? We have new dialogue options. New dialogue options. Let's go ahead and feed the cat again. Again, if you run out of cat food, you can just spawn in more with your wand, or the formerly known as Wii Mod. And this basically allows you to freely cycle from night zero to whatever day you want to wake into to fully explore dialogue. Now again, we'll do something a more advanced strategy, okay? So we've talked to all of our folks, we fed the cat cat food, we drink our beer, go back to day zero, again, switch the day to zero. Now we're technically daytime zero. We go to bed, wake up, it's gonna be nighttime, night zero. You don't even have to check anything. You actually just click on the bed right here and now. But let's try something a bit more advanced. Let's say I wanna unlock hands as a symptom. What day does hands pop up? three, if I'm not mistaken, right? So let's switch our night to night two so that we wake into day three. This allows you to collect various, you can see we got it, various symptoms risk-free. Takes a little bit of time, takes a little bit of patience. You have to remember, and guess what? Since we're in a new day, new dialogue options, baby. Feed the cat, talk to the rest of our folks, talk to everybody. Again, go back to day zero, drain our energy, and go to bed. So now, again, if we want uh, day four, what did we get on day four? I forget what we get on day four. Was it the, e not ears, was it the pits? Oh, it was eyes. It was eyes. Of course it was eyes. Go to bed. Night of day three, waking into the day of day four. Morning of day four, I should say. And we get the red eyes. Slowly unlocking everything while we just talk, repeatedly talk to these people, right? 
Now, here's another little piece of strategy I can give you. I've exhausted all of my dialogue with the, the, the girl and with the stoner. So what we can do is open up Wand and give ourselves a couple of FEMA notices, okay? How about, a, how about four of them, just in case? We can hand over the FEMA notice. And so next time, let's say we explore a night where there is a FEMA agent those people of whom we've already explored other dialogue options, we don't need them anymore, those get taken first. Shot in the dark. Let's see, where do I want to I wanna explore next? Let's go to night... Screw it. Let's go to night 10. I don't even know what night 10 is going to contain. So let's go ahead and just try that out. How about this? I'll save the game just in case. Go to bed. Aha. Perfect. Now, the, th the interesting thing is... See, so yeah, the FEMA thing works, and then we're good. <laughs> what flock? <laughs> okay, and then next one. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh god. Let's show him a photo. Fuck it. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so that was a bad night. Okay, don't go to night 10 because there's literally no visit. You don't get any guests on night 10. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, we'll switch to day four or night four, so we wake into day five and pick up our next, uh, our, our, our next symptom. Hairless armpits. And again, talk to um, the lady. Oh, should we, let's just, screw it, let's just do it. See, this is why you want to be able to do stuff like this because you hardly ever get to see these moments because keeping your visitors is just too risky. Isn't that crazy? Now, I basically taught you everything you need to do for shits and giggles. Let's go ahead and try something. So let's see here. Let's just throw another dart at the dartboard. Um, let's try... Let's try day one. Again, let's go. So we switch to day one. Wake into night one. And I believe here is where we will be able to pick up the tall guy. Oh no, sorry. We'll first talk to the girl, even though she's been given... Literally, her and her dad have been given to FEMA. <laughs> this is just like a hard-coded thing. <laughs> but here we'll be able to take in the tall guy reliably. And take in the crooked girl, or the, uh, the cashier girl, reliably. Let's see who we get for our third one. And here's a nice thing too. Even though we keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Beautiful! Yes! This is another great visitor to get to explore with a fantastic end dialogue thingy that happens. But anyways, we're going back and forth, back and forth. We're not losing knowledge of the various symptoms, okay? So we wake up tomorrow. We're going to have all the symptoms as before. In fact, let's go ahead and get ourselves... Uh, let's switch it to day, night five, waking into day six, morning of day six, which I believe gets us, personally, my favorite symptom, the photos. Yes, perfect. Bogo's minted. All right. So again, same thing as before. We can explore the dialogue options. I've already have so much of this footage recorded for my, my personal video. Uh, but yeah, so this allows us to explore all this stuff. Make sure we drink our beer. Actually, we don't even have to drink our beer. You know what? We don't have to drink our beer now because now we can explore different things. We have all these different... We theoretically have infinite energy. We could just... I want to take a photo of this guy. And see his aura. Look at that. Of course. A foreshadowing of his, of his final dialogue. We can explore what he says, you know, all that stuff. But no, let's just hear him out. You know, we can explore all these pieces of dialogue, okay? If, you, if we drank a kombucha before, we can even explore what he says before he dies and then reload the game so that you can get him back um let's say i want to see this guy's uh, photo right i mean we hardly ever test this guy because we know he's a good guy he takes a photo isn't that interesting doesn't really reveal much leave him alone talk to the cashier girl this is a fan favorite people hate t t killing her no one wants to kill her so now you can explore all of our dialogue options you know, keep giving yourself cat food. Now, isn't that interesting? I wonder what that means. Hmm. Do all that stuff. Explore all the dialogue options. Find your cat. Find your Garfield. Feed him the cat food. That might have been our last one. So we can go back to our Wii mod. 
give ourselves a smattering of cat food. Fuck it, if we want to have a good time, just fucking hack a dart. We could just hack darts. I never order darts in this game because uh, I'm constantly ordering cat food. We're running low on beer. Give ourselves a couple, a handful of beers, a smattering of beers. Look at that. They're overlapping the pickle jar. You've never seen that before. You've never seen that before. Now, there's one more use case for this technique. There's always these rumors going around about how, you, you, at least in the beginning when this game first came out, if you make it to the end and the cashier girl is, is your only visitor, you still get the good ending. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's bullshit, okay? So let's go ahead and test that out. We get the cashier girl, that she's the only person we have, we've accidentally, we've sadly killed an innocent to succeed with this. Oh, we're out of kombucha just to be on the safe side. Give myself a kombucha. And I believe, what day? What day does it st I believe the day is, would it be 13? Let's try that, day 13. Yep, I think, I believe it's day 13, yep. So we skip to day 13. Look outside, wait, what? Huh? That's weird. That's, it's just, okay, maybe, maybe because we skipped over the fire, there's like three states for the, uh, let's not even overthink it. <laughs> we go to bed. And now, again, we, the only person in our, in, in tow is the cashier girl. So we board up everything. And everyone's saying, oh no, she's like the one of the good ones, actually. In fact, she doesn't kill anybody if you let her in. And she's so good, in fact, if you have a bunch of guests, uh, a bunch of human guests, and if she's the... Bullshit. Bullshit. I know she's everyone's favorite. Oh, I know. All the big mama stands. All the, 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 the jacket guy stands. Everyone thinks that their favorite visitor, if you bring them to the end, that they're not gonna do anything. Bullshit. We go under underground with the cat girl, with the, sorry, with the cashier girl, cat girl's gone, and we get the bad ending. You know you have the bad ending because you have these, the silhouettes have eyes. So yes, anyways, the reason why I wanted to showcase this specific use case is uh, I had a request. If someone can use this technique, find, a human variant of the suit guy. I have a personal theory that even the human variant get, gets treated like a visitor in cases like this. So get your game to a, a state where you have a human suit guy or human mobster, skip to day 13, or night 13 I should say, and then, or whatever the hell, do what we just did and get to the ending and see if you get the good ending or the bad ending. Because if you, if you know, there's two variants of this ending, making it to the end. There's one where you have visitors and one where you have no visitors. And I have a sneaking suspicion, or I believe I heard a rumor, that in, in, when, in calculating this ending, the suit guy, the mobster, is treated like a visitor, even when he's human. But that could be just a rumor, just like the rumor about how uh, the cashier girl is one of the good ones. And right now we're literally dying by her hands only. But yes, I hope this was of help. There's already so many theory videos out there, but this game is so rich, and but it's also very hard to explore. And so, uh, you know, uh, if you can take this, these, these these methods, explore all the different dialogues. This will be a lot more uh, or a lot more uh, easier now with this method. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching my videos. Uh, please stay tuned for. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna pass out. Oh, fuck. <laughs>